Today I wanted to test myself and work on some of the things I would call my weaknesses. So I've put together a chill pop track using the acoustic guitar as the main loop, making the overall instrumentation and beat very simple and keeping the vocal production like reverbs and delays very minimal too. So I'm going to dive into it, break down all the things I did, all the things I learned and I really hope that you find it valuable. Things are feeling fresh and smooth in the studio. I've just used a little bit of my vanilla essential oil. <laughs> We're well on our way into spring and I'm feeling good and I hope you are too. So let's get into the flow. Guess my inner demons, no jujitsu throwing me through the floor and right through my hell. Black belt, fall into a dream, rebuild me whole new melody. Somehow she knows me so well. Her spell, give me peace for a minute. If I could levitate like the Buddha, melt away, elevate, then I would have done, 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 done that. Already, but I'll try again. If I was losing faith in the wonder, I'd have hoped down this road, then I would have run, 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 run. Hell heavy, but it's heaven sent. Venom or delight, scorpions and butterflies, whatever it is. I still can't believe my eyes. Oh no. If you're new here, my name is Kobe McCool. It's awesome to see you. If you're a returning subscriber, you're the best. I started, of course, with the acoustic guitar. I would say it's my weakness because it's not my main instrument, firstly, so I'm not that great at playing it, especially to a click track trying to get it to sound exactly the way you want. I haven't done that much recording of it because I know it can be quite challenging and you can end up tweaking sounds and messing around with things when the delivery on the input wasn't that good in the first place. So when it came to it, this is the rough position that I had the mic in to record and I just recorded doubles of mostly everything that I did so that I could pan it hard left and hard right. The lick that I came up with sounds like this. It's a pretty simple three slash four chord progression, but I just wanted to play around with the chords a little bit and also see if I could come up with a lick that's kind of challenging to play but sounds cool. I challenged myself to be happy with something before I did anything else. To have a lick that I could play on its own and then work with that. Even still I don't find it that easy to play but it's definitely fun. What I certainly can't do yet is sing along and play that same riff at the same time but I'll keep working on it. I recorded several different layers of that same lick and pushed them to either side trying to keep the guitar pretty dry overall. So I've muted the reverb and then I've pushed the signal hard left and hard right. I wanted it to be quite an intimate sound overall, so you can hear bits of my breath, there's a little bit of a fuzziness and the white noise in the background, but I thought that that was actually fine. So I was actually really happy with that loop overall. The overall processing that I've done to it is actually very minimal. I have lots of other things that I was testing, but I've taken the reverbs, the delays off it. Taking effects like that off can make it feel more intimate, but when you leave it dry, it's more exposed, so you want to try and make sure the quality of the signal is really high. I just have an EQ cutting out some frequencies that were a little bit boomy, and then I've just boosted the high end here. There's a tiny bit of a boost on this EQ here and this FG compressor. I've got the mix turned down quite a bit because I didn't want to completely squash it. If I turn that right up to 100%. You can hear the transients just sound too like brittle. So I just pulled the mix of that down so that it's not quite so aggressive. I've got a moderate attack and release, just some generous warming and smoothing compression. And then a little bit of saturation here. That's pretty much it for the guitar processing. The only other thing that I did was sidechain the kick to it. I then pitched it up so that in certain sections it would feel even more light. It sounds a bit broken and a bit tinny because I have just pitched it up rather than playing it up the octave, but I was fine with that. I kind of wanted it to sound a little bit funky and weird. And then I've just layered those together. And this low pass EQ that I've used here. I brought that trick in because 
The guitar is cool, but it's quite high energy, and I still wanted the overall track to feel chill. And when you don't have that, it can feel almost too full on if it's doing the same thing all the time. I thought maybe this riff isn't even working, I'll just have to get rid of it, all my hard work. But actually, just by filtering it down, you're just taming it, keeping control of it. And allowing other things to be the center of attention for a while and then it fades back up again. Super powerful, but easy to forget because it is that simple. The only other thing that I did add with the guitar is some strums for the chorus. And those are pretty simple, but... <laughs> Going to relatively similar processing with just some slightly stronger compression and a brightening EQ. And then they have also just been pushed hard left and right. So yeah, that was the guitar. To complement the melody that I had there, I also used this toy box and this mandolin. The toy box does have quite a bit of reverb on it and that just gives it a little bit more space in the chorus whilst still managing to keep the guitar nice and dry. For the drums, they are very simple and I just challenged myself to keep them really simple. It's just a really basic four on the floor. The only time that they change is in the lead up to the chorus and in the chorus. So I just brought in some subtle hats. I just added in a snare and hat pattern, but it's very simple. Like I say, simplicity was really the key here so that the focus being the vocal and the guitar could really shine through. Hey. The sub is just basically a saw wave with a little bit of distortion and some chorus on it, just to spice it up. When you listen to it on its own, it sounds like it's quite gritty and there's maybe a bit too much distortion, but when you pair it with everything else, it actually sounds pretty good. If I could levitate like the Buddha, melt away, elevate, then I would have done, 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 done that already. And I thought about making it slide and doing lots of other things to it, but actually it didn't need anything else other than to be a nice flavor and a nice rhythm. The last instrumental elements that I added in, steel drum, which I recorded in one of the last videos and I'll link that wherever it goes. It's a really luscious sound, but I just wanted it to be ambient in the background. The side chain is really important with that instrument because I wanted it to keep flowing with everything. I always had to ask myself the question, what is this sound supposed to do? When you listen to a sound on its own, you start decorating it, filling it with all sorts of stuff that actually probably doesn't need to be there. It can just be a really simple sound that's following the chord progression with a couple of little inflections here and there. And the same with this ambient synth sound. I just have it playing the notes in the chorus and then some reverses. Again, it's another one of those sounds that you don't necessarily notice is there, but you miss it when it's not. I have another really spacious ambient lead in Serum. Also keeping the melody very simple there, very close to the chord progression with one or two other notes. Then the last sound is just a pulsing sine wave. So I've put a phaser on that and I've also got a little bit of distortion on it too. And then I've just got this low pass filter moving up and down. Of course, that being side chained to the kick makes it sound really nice.
that is the instrumental put together and I'm actually really pleased with that because I wasn't sure how well it was going to work. Like I say, working on the acoustic guitar was definitely a weakness, but I feel like I've learned quite a bit and it's getting there. Then came the vocals. The goal was just to have one lead vocal that did most of the work and then just a couple of harmonies and layers on either side. And then in the chorus, I was then tempted to put in this big pad over here, but the lead vocal still stays pretty much dry all the way through. Guess my inner demons no jujitsu throwing me through the floor and right through my hell because I realized the same thing with the guitar. It sounds so much more intimate when you pull all of the reverb away. Again, though, the challenge when you do something like that is that lots of little noises, mouth noises, pops, clicks, stuff like that are much more audible when they can't be hidden in a wall of sound or a big spacious reverb. But the key thing was that my delivery and the distance from the mic was right so that I didn't have too many plosive sounds coming through and it was just nice and smooth overall. Guess my inner demons, no jujitsu, throwing me through the floor and right through my hell. So there's my lead, there's my harmony on the left. If I could levitate like the Buddha, melt away, elevate, then I would have done, 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 done that already. But I'll try again if I was losing faith in the wonder. So those are being sent to the effects, that left and right layer, but the main vocal still stays pretty much dry. If I could levitate like the Buddha, melt away, elevate, then I would have done, 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 done that already. But it's heaven sent Then no more delight Scorpions and butterflies Whatever it is I still can't believe my eyes Oh no I haven't gone crazy with the reverb and everything like that. I still wanted there to be a lot of presence left in that mix. The only other things that I added are just these little, little vocal licks with lots of reverb on them. For the processing, I'll dive into this stuff in more detail in a separate vocal video, but I just have a basic EQ, some light initial compression from Fruity Compressor, some more compression from Slate Digital and just some little bit of brightening. And then on Arvox, even more compression going on there, but again, it's not too aggressive. Then Little Alter Boy, I've just got a little bit of saturation coming on it. For the left and right layer, it's very much the same kind of processing for the vocal pad. It's also very similar, but I've sent the vocal pad to a much bigger reverb over here. And all the pad is, is just me singing ooh ah, but with lots of different layers. And I've just been very regimented by cutting them all exactly where I want them to start and want them to finish. That's what I usually want is a tight sound where they all come on and come off pretty much at the same time. When it came to writing the lyrics, I just decided to be as playful as I could. And I also wanted to challenge myself to use more simple, repetitive lyrics in certain sections or use the same word over and over again. For example, when I say things like dun, 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 that already. I often find myself trying to fill out the lyrics with lots of different words and make them more complicated. Repetition is a really powerful skill and I wanted the phrasing to be very obvious and the structure to be quite obvious for each section too. So I just came in and wrote a bunch of random little things, just came up with things like that and dun 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 and was trying to work out what words sound nice when I sing that particular rhythm. Hopefully I will try and finish this track, I will just add something similar but slightly different for the second time round. And here is the Lyric Wasteland where I've just thrown down a bunch of random ideas. I take from that pool the best or the cream of the crop and put them together up at the top and then just leave little ideas down there. But I don't delete them once I've got what I like because it can be helpful when you're writing the next part of the song to come back to those and go, mm, okay, I could tie that word in there if I wanted to. That track has been a lot of fun to work on so far. I really hope to keep working on it and try and finish it. Let me know if you guys want to hear the final version. I really hope you found this video valuable and if you did, you know what to do. Come hang out with us on the Discord or send me a message on my Instagram. I'd love to hear from you and I really look forward to sharing the next video with you, whatever that is, and you can click on one of those right now. But until then, believe in yourself and you will be unstoppable. Bye. It's heaven sent. Then no more delight. Scorpions and butterflies, whatever it is.